Eclipse is an undergraduate think tank in which students craft novel policy solutions to emerging international security challenges. I am delighted and honored to introduce the 2020-2021 PIPS Research Fellows. Three times as many people were displaced by climate change in 2019 as were displaced by conflict or violence that same year. The United States has an opportunity to mitigate the destabilizing effects of climate displacement by partnering with low and middle income countries to relocate vulnerable communities. Many people are aware of China's construction of artificial islands in the South China Sea. This project takes from that idea and argues that China will export its island building capabilities around the world, namely in the Southwest Pacific. In response, the United States should consider highlighting and limiting problematic Chinese activity in the region. Um, I'd like to see if it's possible to engage Lauren and Nitya together because I was very struck, as I'm sure everyone else was, by the alternative variants of how one deals with climate change in uh, small islands. Relocate or have the Chinese come in and dredge up the seabed and build it up. An unusual summer camp was held in Slatibor. It was run by an odd cast of characters that included a nationalist private military company. Russian and Serbian veterans, and a Russian attache. It is part of a larger trend of Russian military youth education that's attempting to reshape the political attitudes of young people. Very much um, a return to, you know, the kind of the Soviet youth movements uh, that you see, see not just in the Soviet Union, but across the Eastern Bloc. And, it, you know, it is very interesting to see how much traction they've got. Today, China is signing unequal contracts for fishing access and ports in the Gulf of Guinea the body of water bordering the 20 coastal countries of West and Central Africa. You know, kind of really great point about um, China sort of reversing the sort of century of humiliation language, the idea that um, it's kind of somehow compensating for colonialism from, you know, the European era. Belarus is among the world's worst countries in political and social media censorship. It is also one of the largest markets for digital piracy per internet user. Information dissemination through piracy networks is an overlooked tool for civil society groups to communicate with vulnerable or marginalized audiences. So you were going to give us a you know, whole thing about how you've got to counteract piracy, root it out, get rid of it, but instead it's talking about this really clever way of using uh, piracy for social advocacy. From protests outside polling places to a frontal assault on the US Capitol, Americans have been shocked by the recent intensity of partisan conflict in our country. Local deliberative forums promise to be a powerful weapon in the fight against effective political polarization. So this is actually one of the themes of the book uh, that I'm just finishing up is, you know, how do we counter, you know, polarization? How do you give, as you said exactly precisely, people a sense of a kind of a common mission, a common purpose? Congratulations to all our PIPS participants. That was a really wonderful uh, overview, so rich and so thought provoking.